So if you haven't heard, Twitch is beta testing a new promote feature. Now, while this might sound like a good thing for discoverability, I'm gonna tell you why I think this is actually a terrible idea. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, here's a quick clip from the live stream that Twitch did kind of going into the details of it. Ton, and of everything we've learned, two things really rise to the surface. First, communities want us to make Boost more available. And second, communities want us to make it more impactful. And uh, Jacob, I know that uh, you know feedback that we get from our experiments and from our creators and communities is, is super helpful. How has the experiment and the feedback helped with the next steps that you're about to kind of run us through? Yeah, definitely. So with everything that we've learned, we're going to be running a small experiment in the next few weeks with a select group of creators who are already part of our research community. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, in this experiment, we'll allow viewers to directly purchase Boost for their favorite creators. So there are three key aspects to this, and they're based on community feedback that we've received over the last year. So there are four reasons why I think this new promote feature is problematic. First off, it doesn't really give any more discoverability. And Twitch has kind of been fighting its creators on becoming more discoverable. I mean, it took months from multiple groups begging Twitch for tags for us to even get tags. I know creators in the past have suggested that with clips, we do something kind of similar to like TikTok, Reels, Shorts, whatever, where you get a feed of clips and then that way, you know, that's a way to get creators content out there without necessarily having to promote the stream. And if you include a tag system in clips like that, it would be a great avenue to bring viewers to Twitch channels. And I think just posting live view or live streams to random people's recommended feeds. Now I know it's not gonna be completely random, but essentially like random recommended feeds. I don't think that's really the way to do it because we've heard feedback from people who beta tested their channel point feature that they really didn't get a huge boost and generally the people that they saw come in they weren't quality viewers they weren't people interested in their content they were trolls um and you know the work i do professionally is in analytics and for a work project i actually did some research on the effectiveness of women's history month if you're not aware for women's history black history hispanic heritage uh, Pride Month, Twitch will host relevant creators to their to their front page um, to kind of promote that like, hey, we care about these groups, but being hosted on the front page, it really only helps the day that you're hosted on the front page. The month that I studied Women's History Month, every single creator for the month of March immediately went back to their regular viewership. So getting on the front page doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be discovered. The second problem I have with this is that Promote features are generally pretty common, so we can kind of get an idea of what happens when a platform in implements a promote feature, and that almost always leads to a downward trend in views for people who don't opt into the program. Um, you know, a lot of people struggling on TikTok have, are feeling this pain. Um, Facebook is exactly like that. You know, YouTube, there's a little bit of contention there as well, but generally, adding promote features hurts people who don't opt into it, which is 90% of the people who use a platform. Most people who use a platform aren't going to use a promote feature. So in a way, this is actually going to hurt the average streamer because not only does, does the average streamer, you know, who's struggling to grow, who's struggling to get discovered, they're struggling to build an audience and you're introducing a feature that not only expects you to have a well-established audience, but an audience that's going to put forth money towards the stream. I think it's asking a lot of a feature that's supposed to help the average streamer. My third issue with this is that streamers don't see any of the money that comes from this promote feature. 100% of the money goes to buying ad space, which I feel like I understand why they decided not to put any money towards the creators. One, you know, it's a business. They want to get as much money as they can. I understand that. But you're fronting this idea that you're helping creators with a concept that you haven't shown any data that it's proven to help creators. And in fact, there's data out there to show that this outside of like a one day instance, you're not really helping creators at all. So maybe like the promote feature might be useful for a streamer who's doing a subathon or doing a charity event or, you know, something where they just need a one day boost. 
But in terms of like overall, like assisting streamers and growth and boosting growth, this doesn't do anything to help them. So if you're not, you know, helping streamers grow, you're not really benefiting streamers at all. And really, this is just a tool just to help Twitch earn additional revenue. And my final and probably biggest issue when it comes to this new promote feature is that Twitch actually was beta testing something back in December 2020. But instead of paying for the ad space, um, Twitch users could use channel points. You know, you would put up a community challenge and it was basically boost the stream and you could use channel points to then boost the streamer's stream. Now, my big issue is with the live stream is that they, they directly stated that one of the pieces of feedback that they got was that viewers wanted this to be more accessible. I want to know how is it more accessible to take a feature that had currency you didn't have to pay for and make it so now the way to access the feature is you need real money currency. I don't really think that achieves the stated goal that they have. You know, if you want to make the feature more accessible, I don't know how making pe people pay for it is accessible. I really don't. It's really a hard stretch to say that that's, that's your, your, your solution. I really think in order for people to buy into this promotion program, Twitch needs to answer two questions. The first one being, what percentage of viewers actually click on recommended streams from the front page? You know, what percentage of people log on to Twitch, go, go as far down as that they'll see the recommended views, click on the, click on the, and click on a channel. I think the second question they need to answer then is what kind of quality of viewership you're getting. So as I stated earlier, we had streamers reporting that most of the viewers they were getting were trolls. So what percentage of those viewers that click into a recommended stream, how long are they staying? Are they staying for like five seconds? Or are they staying for five minutes? You know, um, are, are they following? Are they subscribing? Are they, you know, what kind of experience are they having once they then click into a stream? Because, you know, just because someone clicks on your stream, that doesn't mean that they're going to stay. That doesn't mean that they're interested in your content. And so that doesn't really mean that you're going to grow from someone coming into your stream. And, you know, because it's not as simple as make good content. You know, if you're making good content, you're not appealing to every audience out there. And so, like, streamers need to know, are you are you actually bringing in viewers? And are you bringing in viewers that have an interest in what I'm creating? Those are the two big questions that Twitch needs to answer before I think anyone should buy into this. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a great idea or do you think this is a terrible idea? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And, you know, if you like videos like these, please like this video, subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more content. Or if you want to have an open dialogue, um, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Feel free to hop in my stream, ask me questions. I would love to have a dialogue on this because I think this is really an important topic to discuss. But yeah, let me know. What do you guys think?